This weekend, we will be traveling to Miami Beach, Florida. I got Kendall a performance opportunity. It's going to be spectacular for me. Okay. This is great for us. I would like for Nia to be considered for the trio. This is my domain. I'm the principal here. She got a solo tonight. And you just blew it. Come on, come on, come on. Last week's competition, Fire and Ice Elite, was a big disappointment, ladies. I mean, here we are invited back as winners, and you guys don't even place? Not acceptable. Six of you weren't in unison. The group, it was just a complete train wreck. When you do partner work, it really has to be in sync. The group needs to be cleaner. Do you understand? I am so sick of Abby coming down on our kids. How are you going to be amazing on stage when your teacher keeps knocking you down and making you lose your self-confidence? She always puts the blame on someone else. All right, now let me get right to the pyramid. First, I have Mackenzie. I think your acting could have been bigger and longer. And I think when you walk, we need to work on turning those feet out. Next. I have Paige. I was in the dressing room all day long with you. I didn't see you utilizing your spare time, and you need to do that. Next, Nia. I just need to see more from you. It's tough to see Nia at the bottom of the pyramid again and again and again this week. It's, it's frustrating. She's doing everything she possibly can to get ahead. Moving up, Chloe. Chloe, I thought you did a nice job on your solo, but your age is 10. You're competing 10 to 12. You have to dance like a 12-year-old. Chloe competed against girls who were years older than her, and she still got second place. The only thing Abby sees, though, is that she didn't win first. She is ridiculous. And next, we have Brooke. Once again, you danced 13 to 15. At 13, you won the whole division. And on the top of the pyramid is Maddie. Maddie, I challenged you to see if you could stay there for two weeks in a row, and you did. Now I'm challenging you again. Can you make it three? I was so happy to be on the top of the pyramid for two weeks in a row, but also I kind of feel bad for the other girls because I think they worked very hard, too. All right, now. This weekend, we will be traveling to Miami Beach, Florida. <laughs> I love Miami. It's tropical, it's exciting, it's fun, it's fast paced. There's sun, there's sand, and there's pool boys. We will all be performing a group number. Even me? Even you. Yay! The group number is called Reputation. I want you to think about Annette Funicello and Frankie Avalon and Beach Blanket Bingo. Miss Abby starts talking about Annette Funicelli and the beach bingo. I have no idea what she's talking about. Now, moms, when those girls get home tonight, I want you to look at some of those old movies. I want the girls to see what that's all about because that's gonna be their group number. It's 60, it's pony, it's swim. Cute, 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 fun in the sun. I wanna see big high ponytails, big beautiful smiles, and little itsy bitsy 60s bikinis. This week, Maddie, you have another solo. Chloe, you will also be doing a solo. My next soloist will be Nia. We also have a trio with Maddie, Chloe, and Paige. It would be nice if Nia could be considered for the trio. And here was a possible, a potential opportunity for Nia. Once again, she's over a lot. Yes. I'm just letting you know that I have to get my warts cut out of my feet tomorrow. They, they said she should be fine to dance in three days, so we'll be cutting it close. But I don't want to put her in a trio and then have her physically be in pain while she's learning it. We can't change the appointment. I, I've changed it like 15 times. She, she's having a hard time walking on it. You know what? I'm going to have to think about that. I might put someone else in the trio. Planner's warts 
are common to dancers. And when you have to have them removed, sometimes the kid's out of dance for a week or two weeks. You need to get that fixed. That takes priority. So we need to start working on this group number right away. It's going to be a long week. Suck the yawns up. Quit yawning in my face. Spread apart. Get ready to work. Moms. I want resistance. I want the shoulders going down, and I want the chin going up. Okay? Press those shoulders down. Okay, sit down. Lift your chin. Straight. All right. That was the best one yet. That was fabulous, Kendall. Abby's great at pointing out all of Kendall's faults. I don't know if she's so great at fixing them. With my tutelage and the candy apple name, Kendall is really gonna be awesome. I can't believe it, Kathy. After, what, 15 minutes, you fixed three or four well, you know, things here's, here's, like that? Here's the thing, Jill. We've got what it takes back here, the yeah. foundation. Good. We've got the core, no pun intended. I'm just gonna give you a little secret. Kendall's doing really well. I have big plans for her. Kathy says she has big plans for Kendall. I just hope that Kathy's big plans are in line with my big plans. I want to take the girls back to an era of innocence, to Frankie and Annette and, you know, the beach blankets and the beach balls and the umbrellas. If you don't point that foot, I'm going to come out there and break it. Point your foot. We're going to Miami. And in South Florida, every kid dances. And every kid is amazing. Paige will be very upset if she doesn't get to do the trio. I, I agree. She'll go on there, dance, whether her foot hurts oh, or not, I just because she, she doesn't want to be replaced in the trio. Why are you doing the surgery now? Can, you can't wait like a couple more weeks? Couple she, weeks. She's having a hard time walking on Aww. it. Abby says that dancers dance through pain. That's fine if you're on Broadway, but my daughter is 11 years old, and if she can't dance, she's not dancing. Did she mention what the trio was going to be? No, and I thought she would have, because I was wondering if she had to switch it up, who it might be, because I think Nia would have gladly stepped uh -huh. in. Yeah, yeah. Was, Nia was volunteering herself I pretty see much that. there. Yeah. I am continuously frustrated with Abby. Nia has so much to offer. She has great potential. And yet, Abby only sees one aspect of Nia. And I'm beginning to believe she will never get a trio. I'm getting really sick and tired of it. Here is my kid giving 110%. And there's Abby. She can't like, even give her 50. She can't even give her 50%. I think that you have valid points. And if you really feel that strongly, then maybe it's best that you tell Abby. Well, it's I just hope like... I can go downstairs and be calm. Because I'm usually very calm, but I'm usually not as ticked as I am tonight. Abby didn't give Nia the trio. Maybe enough is enough, and I should speak up and just Remind Abby that there is someone here. If Paige is not able to perform, Nia might be able to step in. OK. All right, Miss Holly. Good luck. All right. One, two, three, four. Why are you interrupting my rehearsal? Can I see you for a second outside, just for a moment? Just for Holly, a moment. Holly, I am just... coming to your school. I'm walking into your office, and I'm going to interrupt you. It's ridiculous. Uh, you go ahead and do that. I have parents who do that all the time. I don't think there's anything more invasive than being interrupted. Holly is now a principal. She, of all the mothers, should understand. I would like for Nia to be considered for the trio. You said you would consider her, yet you looked at her and you looked beyond her in Pyramid and didn't even give her the courtesy of being considered you for that. You are so far off my plans, you have no clue. I was already planning on Nia being the swing for Paige in the trio, but Holly can't even give me three seconds to let me tell her this. No, she has to come in, interrupt my rehearsal again. Paige might not be able to do it. Nia's in. Why didn't you just and say that Nia has a solo. Because you come and interrupt me. You don't need to do that. You don't know what my master plan is. I have no idea. You would think that she would have a little bit of respect. What I asked was that we're on the same page. That's all you had to say. It's like Holly was thinking the same thing. That's all you had to say. Yeah, you didn't have Holly, to. it's not about what you're thinking. I it can't give a crap what you're and thinking. You know what? It does matter what I'm thinking because I'm her mother. A mother looking up our daughter trumps the word of a dance teacher all of the Not time. Not inside this studio, it doesn't, sweetheart. This is my domain. I'm the principal here. But you, it's my well, office. Unless you fear what you fail to realize, Abby. I don't care about that. You don't control me. I will not be bossed around in my own studio. I give Nia a solo, 
And then I think about putting her in the trio, but that's just not good enough for Holly. Nothing's ever good enough. Well, you know what? Detention is good enough. And that's what her and Nia both need. Yeah! Oh, go! <gasps> what did you say? Yeah, she got a solo tonight. And you just blew it. You're expelled. You're done. Holly didn't do Nia any favors. She ruined this entire evening's rehearsal. Nia didn't even get a chance to learn the trio. What has Holly accomplished? Nothing. There are no amount of solos, duos, trios, which are worth this aggravation. Are you leaving? I am never setting foot in the studio again. Huh. All right. Wait a minute. Where's Nia? I don't know. I thought after last night's blow up that Holly would have time to come to her senses. She needs to have Nia at rehearsal today, but Nia's not here. Come on, Holly. Grow up. Girls, we have two days. Two days before you're in Miami against all those kids that dance at a studio and at school. And then there were two. I know. You know what, Nobody though? Nobody likes us. The two bitches are left. <laughs> I don't blame Holly and Nia for not being at rehearsal today. I wouldn't want to look at her either after she talked to me that way. I mean, Abby just pushes and pushes, and I hope she didn't push too far this time. Smile! Over the top! Watch the foot! Do you think Holly will come at all? I don't know. I texted her, and I asked her how she was, and her response was, I'm not good. And I can't imagine her not bringing her to Miami. I mean, she has a solo, too. You know yeah, what I mean? I know. If we lose Holly, it's going to be a devastating loss to our team. She's our center. She really is. She keeps us sane, believe it or not, if we are even to be called sane. I feel bad because we have to learn this dance. So then Neil will be behind. Hold. Two, three, four, and exit. I think we're good. I think that's a wrap. I don't know where Nia is. But rehearsal's over. She missed it. Remember, everyone's replaceable. Hi. Hi. We have an appointment for Paige. OK. You guys can just sign in there. This week, Paige has to go to the doctors to have some planner's warts removed. But the problem is, is we have a competition this weekend. So Paige only has two days for her feet to heal. What's giving you trouble? I have three warts. Three warts. Do they hurt? Mm -hmm. yeah. She's a dancer. So okay. whenever she turns, the one on the ball of her foot really hurts. As a dancer and wanting to get back on your feet, if we would have an infection or her slow healing it, or even just the discomfort could keep her off a little bit longer. I can tell you you can dance, but your body may tell you something different. OK. These warts are bothering her feet just to walk around in. So I have to get them done. I'm stepping up as a mom, and help is coming before dance. OK, Paige, we're going to give each one of these a little zap there. Here goes first one. OK, Paige, squeeze my hand when it hurts. Mm. You did great. It wasn't too bad, was it? We're going to put a Band-Aid on each one of those, and they'll give you some ice to put on there, OK? You did good, Angel. I hope Paige can dance this week. I hope that we have no complications. Take it from the top. Push! Lead with that heel, Maddie. Maddie is doing a solo. It's called All of My Life. This is a stellar routine for her. It has all the elements that she needs. She jumps, she turns. Her transitions are lovely. But all of your life has been dancing, right? And dreams coming true and setting new goals. And that's what you need to convey to the judges. All right, out you go. Send me Chloe. All right, let's go from the top that far with the music. Five, six, pretty seven, eight. Look at me. When you turn around there, make sure you feel your shoulder blades popping open. This week, my solo is called Send Down Your Love. And I'm excited to do another contemporary lyrical because last week I did a more dark piece. All right, now remember, you're going to get to Miami and your toughest competition flew on the plane with you from Pittsburgh. Yes. Be confident. Pretend you're going after 12 and 13 year olds. Got it? All right. See ya.
get, get to class, okay? Hey, Kendall. Hi. The girls are waiting, so hurry up and get changed so we can start rehearsal. Joe, come here. Hurry up, then. Joe, 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 come here. I'm like beaming. I'm so excited. I got Kendall a performance opportunity. Or as they say in Hollywood, I got her a gig. I got her a gig. Yes. What? An opportunity to dance with the Harlem Globetrotters. You are kidding. No, isn't that fabulous? It is at halftime. Okay, oh, and she is fun. going to be doing like a little solo out there. I think it's adorable. I think it's a perfect fit for Kendall to be dancing at the halftime show of the Harlem Globetrotters. Listen, we'll talk about it later, okay? okay? That is great. All right, go get Kendall ready. Alrighty. Thanks. Now listen, you need to tell the story, but you need to dance, and it's not easy. We have an adorable trio and it's called Les Divas. The number is perfectly suited for Maddie, Paige, and Chloe, but some of the steps in the number are very difficult. This is advanced choreography. I know your feet are hurting, but you need to cowboy up and you need to dance. I need to know if you can't do the steps because your feet are sore today. All right, let's do it. Yesterday, I my planner's boards are moved, and my feet are really sore, so I'm trying my best. Come on, bigger, Paige. Back leg higher, Paige. You're falling off your center. Is the foot flexed or pointed, Paige? Pointed. Really? Did the doctor say don't know dancing for? No, he said as long as she didn't have a blister, she could dance. The doctor said that unless Paige has any blistering, she can go ahead and dance. Does it hurt to point it? Okay, because your foot is just like this. She doesn't want to be replaced in the trio again. Whoa! Paige, I know your feet hurt, but what happened in that whole section you forgot? If you go out there and dance like you were today, we don't have a shot at winning. I'm gonna have to pull you from the number. Go, you're finished. Paige is really making me nervous. She is hopping all over the place. Her foot is really bothering her. I may have no other choice but to pull the trio from the competition. me the other night because she wants Nia in a trio, but they have been absent from rehearsals for an entire day and a half. We're leaving for Miami tomorrow. She definitely wants to come back. Nia wants to be here. And I just don't want what happens to interfere with her dance progress and whatever the issues we have oh, with each other. I would never let a kid's parent hold them back. Nia, you need to get into rehearsal. I just don't want you to let her miss rehearsals. She will be here. Nia makes her own opportunities. She has to earn it. I decided to come back to the studio to teach Nia how to take the high road, be a bigger person, and to not run away from your problems. Hey, ladies. Hi. Oh, so glad you're back. The hardest thing was walking through that door again, because yeah. I certainly didn't want to do that. Nia really wanted to come, and she wanted, she was worried about the group dance. What a team player. She is. I, I know. That's the first thing she asked about this morning before I went to school. Am I going to dance today? I'm like, are you kidding me? Ultimately, my daughter loves to dance. She has that passion. And if that means that I have to deal with that evil witch, Abby, then I guess I'll just be the bigger person. Nia, don't make any mistakes, because you missed the whole first rehearsal when I had time to go through mistakes. going to Miami. I know there's going to be amazing dancers there. I mean, they are on their A game all the time. Nia, that whole entire section is what we went over and over and over, and you missed it. And that's the part you messed up. All right, girls, dismissed. It's over, Nia. Maybe you can practice in Florida, because you don't know that section. I know Nia wants to do a really good job, but I am worried that this week has been a little bit too much on her. Touch the knees. Yeah, yeah. Turn out. So when Nia is doing a jazz acrobatic routine. Nia didn't show up for rehearsal for a whole day and a half. Will she pull it off? I don't know. Force arch. Come on, sit to do. I don't see those heels touching. Freeze. Squeeze those ankles together. Get up. Do it. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. Squeeze that. 
she better go out and nail this after all the trouble her mother caused me during my rehearsals. I am so excited to get out of the cold Pittsburgh winter, Miami, Florida. Here we come. We're about to arrive at the airport. So I want you on your best behavior as you enter this airport and board the flight. The competition starts now. I think it's good that the girls and I have some free time to ourselves to go to the ocean and just have some relaxation time. Woo! I love this. To show. Yay! We have Abby, no kids, lady. no Abby. Now, who all watched the video, Beach Blanket Bingo? You did. Good girl. One person. You didn't watch it? No? 50 push-ups, 50 push-ups, 50 push-ups, 50 push-ups. I told your mothers to make sure you watch the movie. Come on. This really scares me. It scares me because these mothers are not backing up Abby Lee Miller. They are not backing up my lessons for the girls. Tell them about the movie. What other moves did they do? The pony, the swim, the jerk. Or the pony, the swim, and the jerk in your number? Yes. So let's see. Stand up. <laughs> well, the girls have worked really hard, and we only have a few hours to spend on the beach. Yep. Can you go in the water? Yes. How about if I pick you up and throw you in the water? I don't know how cold it is, guys. Loser. I could have gotten lost at sea. How's Paige? How's her feet? Yeah. What's she doing? Uh, she has moments that they are bothering her. Like if you watch her walk, she goes, mm -hmm. it's like she's on her tippy toe on one foot and on her heel on the Aww. other foot. But I think Paige will be able to do I it. I think Paige should be able to do it. I mean, I want if you by two years she wakes up and it's blistered or something, I'm not Mia's allowing gonna her to sneak into the room to tonight do. with a cigarette goes, yeah. Oh, you got your foot in it. <laughs> I know Paige's feet are bothering her. I just hope that Paige would tell me if she couldn't dance. How do your feet feel? They're OK. They just hurt like when I walk and I run. OK, well, don't walk and don't run. Holly, is Nia able to do it? You know, I'm a nervous Nelly. I always worry, like, can she pull it off? Nia has been running her solo every free chance that she gets, but she has only had one chance to run it with Abby. And I'm really concerned how well Nia's going to perform during this competition. It looks like she had a lot of time to learn it, so that's a lot of pressure. I think she's prepared to do it, but I think she's probably also nervous at the same time. This is exciting. I'm excited. Kendall, she's going to dance at the halftime show of the Harlem Globetrotters. This is going to be like a cheerleader dance, and I think the crowd will really appreciate her for what she's going to bring to it. Yeah. About to go on here in a second. Oh, oh okay. She is? Let's go get you over to that okay. corner. Thank All you right, so listen, much. Kendall, Kendall, okay. You can do this, okay? <laughs> okay? You're gonna be spectacular for me. Okay. This is great for us. This is candy apples and Kendall. We might have to take it on the road. <laughs> All right, do good. This is the most people I've ever danced in front of before, and I'm feeling a lot of pressure, and I don't want to disappoint my mom or Kathy. thing Kendall has ever done, and if she nails it, I am confident this will open many more doors for her. I 
She was going to go out there and dance. And I was really, really proud and really pleased for Kendall. This is really, she needed this. This is like an arena, like a big stage. It's the morning of the competition, and I'm feeling excited, energized. It's at the Florida International University, a gorgeous campus. Remember, this is Miami. Even though these girls are on dance teams and they're here competing, they all go to dance class. You want them to go home saying, oh my goodness, you can't believe those girls from Pittsburgh. So in the green room, right before we're getting ready to dance, Paige is sitting there icing her feet. And I'm thinking, this doesn't look too good. You told me that you think you can do it. I'd rather pull the number now when they take a break than pull it right before it's ready to go on and have you all upset and everybody upset. I think I can do it. Paige, better not be lying to me and this better not come back to bite me in the butt. They better get out there and be the divas that I've trained them to be. Performing next, we have Abby Lee just striking on stage. It was different than anything anybody did. I'm really proud of myself because I danced through the pain. Performing next, we have an Abby Lee dance routine. fabulous because I could just tell in their attitude this the costumes are so adorable they come strutting out and I just love this dance <laughs> Everybody doing something different in the choreography really worked in our favor. When the girls went back to the umbrella and Brooke did her round up back layout step out, the crowd went crazy.
This group was clearly the best. They were the most entertaining, they were having fun, the whole audience was into it. I would really be surprised if they didn't win first. Moving on, third place ensemble, Beach Bun from Even though we did not win first place in the group category, I'm still very proud of the girls. Not only is the competition fierce in Miami, but they were competing against girls in high school, and they still placed in the top three. That's impressive. What'd you girls think? I thought it would be really good. Well, there was a tough competition out there today. There was definitely tough competition, and congratulations to everybody. Thanks. But before you went out there, remember, this is Miami. These girls are probably gonna be amazing. You want to be more amazing, understood? The group dance did not win first place, but I have solos that will shine. I am a little nervous this week for Maddie to do her solo because it's on a gym floor and she slipped last time we were in a gym. So she's really, really nervous. Maddie, please take the stage. solo this week is one of my favorites. Uh, the song is beautiful and she really got into character and it really touched my heart. This week I'm really excited for my solo. I think my costume's perfect for Miami and I love it. And I hope this week I can really win first. good. I saw a few things that she can improve upon. She did some new turns in her dance that I really don't feel she's ready to do yet. But otherwise, I thought she did a great job. Nia, can you take the stage? Nia was really shaken up by the argument that I had with Abby. And I'm concerned that this fight is going to get her focus not on the dance, 
but focusing on trying to please Abby and doing everything perfectly. fears are coming true and my heart begins to break and I see my little girl freeze. I'm watching Nia perform and I see my little girl freeze and there's nothing more I can do than just be a supportive mom. I forgot it, Mom. Okay? You know the dance. You know the dance in your body. We're working on You will do it again. It's your turn to shine. Okay? Stop psyching yourself out. You are an amazing, amazing dancer. There's nothing to be afraid of. We care that you can show people and you can dance. At this point, I'm thinking I have nothing to lose. Let me go to the competition director. I know it's very rare that they would ever let someone do a dance over. I want my child to at least be considered for a second chance. Hi, I wasn't sure who I should speak to. Nia would like to do her dance again, if it's at all possible. Take a deep breath before you go on. I'll find a spot. What I found was the competition director was amazing. She was very accommodating. Her heart bled for Nia, and she allowed her to do this dance again, and I was thrilled. I knew when she got off the stage, she was going to be mortified. But most importantly, she was going to be afraid of Abby's reaction. I heard you're going to dance again. You know when you dance again, you have to be a 1,000 times better than the first time. For me, it's not just about this routine on this day. This is a life lesson that we all need to learn. I am preparing Nia for the future, and a future in this business is tough. You don't get a second chance. She had the courage to face the audience, and she performed with a smile, with energy. And she proved to herself that she could do it. Moving on to elementary division, first through fifth grade. In third place, Nia. Even after the week that kids had, Nia acted like a responsible dancer. If you fall off the bike, you need to get right back on it. Good for her. That was good, Holly. She'll be happy with that. I'm proud of myself, and I'm glad I did it. In second place, Chloe from Abby Lee. I am 
so proud of my girls. All the solos placed. Maddie first, Chloe second, and even Nia placed third. I'm thrilled and I'm honored and I'm glad we came to Miami and kicked some tan butts. Happy Good job, girls. Good job. Congrats. Was good. Nia, you came back, you placed. That was good. Think about what you can do better so that that never happens again and maybe place higher. I thought you looked really great. Let's go. Yeah. Thanks, Get popped up. Let's move. Good weekend in Miami. You guys seem tired. You're in Miami. This place, the clubs don't even open till midnight. Come on. We're going to B-E-D. That's right. Yeah. Bed. Oh, yep, that's right. Club bed. <laughs>